kind of something I wanted to show everybody is the uh, system we did this year installing this door on the front of the barn it's a seven by nine roll-up door and then taking advantage of our bundling system we no longer you need to use the bale elevator because everything can be moved around up here with this pallet jack so we're gonna get the stuff moved out and I'm gonna show you guys here how we do it all bundles are pretty heavy. These bundles are north of 920 pounds. It's a grass alfalfa mix. I think it'd be a little lighter, but it's plenty, uh, plenty heavy. So we're going to roll this out of here. You got to stay with the boards. If you go against, uh, we heard some cracking in the past. So moves relatively easy if you stay with the boards. Kind of gain some speed and do it at one handed here. We hop up onto this nice sheet of plywood and then you're golden. Plan is to put plywood through the entire top floor of the barn to make rolling it easier and also just better for the floor. Now that I'm up here, I'll pivot it around here quick. Gotta use two hands for that. And there we go. One guy moved 14 bales just like that. Now we'll get the skits here and show you how we get them out of here. This one might be a little more tricky to move around. We'll see how it goes.
And Jack just closed the overhead door like that. And you got the lock there. Put a magnet on the inside. So you can grab that magnet. And there you go. So yeah, this is kind of how we use the new barn system with the pallets. Like I said, I won't use the blue pallets anymore. They're too, they crack too easy. They're too light. They slide on the ground if you want to grab them with the grapple. Um, granted, this hay is heavy and it's packed tight. So had a hard time getting in there. But that Stefan system is the way to go with moving these bundles. You can grab two at a time, uh, a, a, a bunch there and a bunch on top uh, when you're out in the field. It moves very efficiently. This is a nice grass alfalfa mix. Green, clean. We got some orchard grass involved in there. Two of these bundles will go to a horse customer and one of these bundles is going to a goat customer who is currently um, kidding. So wants a little extra protein, get them goats milking. I'll show you what these flakes look like opened up in these bales. That's what we've been feeding the cows. Same stuff we pulled out. There it is in its entirety. Leaf, um, all stuck in there. Solid leaf. Really nice hay. These flakes are the biggest thing I like about that Massey 1840. Everything flakes really nice. Nice and even flakes. You can even go one thinner. This is one thinner right here. And you can separate this flake compared to the normal size flakes. Flakes apart very nice. Again with the flaking apart so nice, I'll bring us outside in the daylight. I'll show you some of this stuff. And kind of see what I'm talking about. This alfalfa here, all the leaf is in it. If you flip it open to get one thinner flake, look at that. Doesn't matter what you're feeding, you're getting portion control when you feed it. These are nice thin flakes. This baler makes a really nice flake. That's the beauty of the inline 1840. Your leaf is all in here. Your stems with the Massey 9970 uh, windrower, all crushed up. Your stems are nice and cured and crushed up for palatability and uh, digestibility through the windrower. That's the Massey cutter at work. And then right here, like I said, these nice thin flakes stay together. That's how thin that is. They stay together, they're nice flakes. I'm gonna bring my scale over to the customers and I'm gonna show you actually what these bales weigh once we cut open a fresh bundle. And uh, we're gonna do a little side-by-side -side comparison with some other hay that she had sitting there. And we're gonna load up these bundles onto my flatbed there. Put them into a pickup box as well. You just grab the bundle like this and you just kind of hold it like so. And you can drop it right into the box with the pickup. Yeah, they carry nice. Obviously they got the strings around them. Nice and even on there. Kind of see, I've done it before where I've stacked two more, but now I go this way. One to go like that and one on the other side. The Ford probably should have some uh, airbags put in her. We're gonna show you how easy it is to take out your bales once they're in here. Cut the strings and away they go. There's your first bundle. There's your second bundle. Nice heavy bales. So we're at zero pounds. As you can see, hook onto our strings here on this bale. And I just took a bale at average here, at random. Make sure I'm pound still, sometimes my hands touch it. We'll lift up. Now this is a third cutting that the customer received from another person. We'll zero out on pounds same price 10 bucks a bale I can use one hand to lift this one same price this one's 72 pounds of change this is 40 pounds of change still a great day for hay 
even uh, as cold as it is and the sun's shining on us, um, life is good. We got a big year coming ahead of us this year. Uh, a lot of orders to be filled. I'm just praying for rain. Um, and hopefully we, uh, we have a good hay crop. Uh, today got me a little bit excited, being honest, moving some hay around, getting uh, ready for this new year, uh, cleaning out the remainder of our 23 inventory um, and visiting with customers again. I've been getting orders in pretty constantly now, so um, that's also uh, exciting, but hope we get some rain and um, yeah. So this is a little video. I just want to kind of show the uh, bundling system again and uh, the conveniences of it and our new setup in our barn and uh, the quality of hay that I, you know, really try to put up on a regular basis. Um, it's the nice thing about having cattle. If it don't work out, uh, we can feed it to cows if, and round bale it for that matter. If it's um, a certain quality of square or uh, got bleached or a shot, well, we have goats, we have sheep, we have dairy cows, we have beef cows, we have horses. Um, I've got llamas and alpacas that we feed. We have a little home for just about every type and uh, variety of bale that we can get out there. So, um, if you like this video, if you uh, are interested in any hay, if you have any questions about how we put up the hay or any of the equipment involved, uh, please comment and uh, be sure to, to put your questions out there. I'd love to answer them. But thank you guys for watching as always. Appreciate the, uh, the view. Uh, like and subscribe and we'll keep you posted on this year's hay season once we get rolling around. Thanks again.